Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's DAB, and welcome to my Kirby's Dreamland LP. Now, I know way back when I played uh, Kirby and the Crystal Shards for the N64, and normally I've said my thing is I want to do these games, like, chronological order, and this is Kirby's very first adventure. However, I was just kind of playing games that had a lot of childhood significance to me back then, and Crystal Shards was the first Kirby game I ever played. I still haven't played a lot of the Super Nintendo ones, that's why I didn't know who Rick was. I'm a little embarrassed to admit that now, because I've, I've always enjoyed the Kirby character since... Well, since I knew who he was, anyway. Let's hop into this one. It's not a particularly hard game, but it, it's fun. It gets a little tougher later on, but once you learn patterns, it's still really not what I would call hard. Alright, Kirby's just like you... Well, I mean... This is one of those games that's automatically archaic if you play the old ones, because like he doesn't have his slide move. You press up to fly for some reason, he can fly infinitely. You release it with the jump button. Or the absorb button. Kirby does not gain powers from enemies. Instead he can just spit them right back out. Gonna rack up that high score, you know, because that's worth a lot. Yeah. Oh man, I love me some Kirby games. Doesn't always feel like there's a lot to say, because really there isn't. Not early on, anyway. No, Waddle D. I forget what the bomb throwing guys are called. Are those are like the junior variant. There's a bigger one that actually chucks bombs at you later. You get the warp star nice and early. These parts are going to be really short. Oh, hello, mini boss. Just spit it right back at him. Will he do his other attack? Nope. I'm just going to kill him straight up. Cool. Thanks. Okay, now pay attention, because you don't want that crap to happen. There's no reason for that. I don't know the names of a lot of enemies besides, like, Waddle Dee and Waddle Doo. Waddle Doos do appear as well. Yep, none of that, thank you. And the flying do one off screen. They keep coming back, though. These little mushroom dudes that sometimes you vacuum them and they get absorbed. Sometimes they lose their hat. Okay, let's ascend. So, yeah, I was just having a good night, I had a nice hot shower, my belly's full of tacos, and I thought, you know what, let's bust out the Super Game Boy. I've been practicing something else for another Let's Play, and I was like, I want to do just something fun now. I don't know if by the time I upload this, I'll have, uh, give me that maximum tomato, because I needed that so bad. And then I do stupid shit, so I'm right back where I was. Yeah, I don't know by the time I upload this, if I'll upload the other game I'm talking about, I'll talk about it in that Let's Play. Or, it'll probably, uh, nope, gonna hang on on Wispy's head for a second. You can't hurt me here, Wispy. Either way, drop some apples at me, or spit little air balls at me. Oh, apples. And, halfway through. Hi. Oh. Blip. Blip. And, last one in the face. Come on, get that famous dance that we all know so much. Love it. Fun thing, um, I'm sure by now this is old trivia, the box art for this game. Kirby is white, because I believe it was Miyamoto thought Kirby should be yellow, but uh, his creator, I'm trying to remember his name, he uh, made Smash Brothers, and his name is escaping Masahiro Sakurai. He said no, Kirby was always meant to be pink. Get that bomb. Get the broom wielding witch. Now, if I. I think that's supposed to be like Fanto from Mario 2, if I didn't know any better. Well, that's some more fun trivia about Kirby. He was originally a placeholder character named Popopo. Which, um, I find it funny, we're in Lolo Castle. Where we will be fighting. Uh, Lolo Loho and La 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 from the Lolo games. I don't know what Sakurai's obsession with, like, these monosyllabic names repeated three times. There's Lolo now, or Lolo Lo. Not a particularly hard mini boss. Okay, I'll let you escape this time. Eat it. Make it look like I'm going somewhere. Oh. Alright. Gonna get ourselves a nice little heal here real quick. 
Ow. There's off. No need. No your malarkey ghosts. Stick your tongue in my. Give me that soda. And we get the curry. Come on, Kirby. Hurry. Uh, you can just hold down the... Not the jump button, but the one that releases air. The absorb button. You just hold it down. You can't jump very high when you're doing this, though. Or, like, it, it contradicts itself. Come on, Kirby. And it wears off pretty quick. Yeah, I'm alright. Don't need the soda. Don't want to hit the Gordo, though. Amazed that ghost didn't hit me. Anything in here for me? Oh! Okay. I don't like this boss fight. For reasons like that. Fall through, Kirby. Yeah, you gotta, like, sneak up on him and hit him in the back. Now, contrary to what I thought, um, you can go through the platforms while you absorb the box. Nope, not yet. Piss off, la la la. Yeah, you can go through the bottom blocks while you really while you absorb something without swallowing it. What the hell, man? Kirby, stop being out of range. Eat that one. And looks like we're taking out Lolo first. Maybe not. All right, who wants some? Apparently, la la la. Lolo? Nice knowing you. And for some reason, they need to teleport me to a room just so we can do our little victory dance. Love it. So that takes us to Float Island, and I know this was a particularly short video, but this is gonna be a really, really short Let's Play. And I'm having a lot of fun with this one already. It doesn't go much further than this, but that's gonna be all for this part, so thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.